Hi there, my name's Nicole and we are today going to be going through the configuration and setup of the WooCommerce MasterCard MPGS plugin. Okay, so to configure the plugin, we go to WooCommerce, Settings, Payments, and we scroll down to MPGS manage or you can click on mpgs and we come to the configuration page okay so we have pretty much the standard um, payment gateway page settings enable disable mpgs test um, for test mode we have test mode and production mode well we don't have production mode but to enable it for testing purposes you click this setting here enable test mode title um, this is what the customers see so the normal title that will what we normally have is credit card mpgs i've just added a test um, test card in there so i can for testing purposes we have the uh, a description customers can't really see that but we have that there um, just in case you want to have more information to provide to your customers we have accept card types and then you can select the ones that you would like your customers to be able to use or the ones that are available for use for your merchant account so for instance, if you had a merchant account and you're set up to process Visa cards and MasterCard, you would accept these. Or if you were set up to process American Express diners clubs, and you would add these ones in as well. Next, we have the gateway URL. We have a test um, account with MasterCard. So this is the MasterCard gateway URL. If you were using, for instance, Commonwealth Bank or ANZ, then we in our in our documentation we have different um, you gateway URLs, so you you'll be able to look at our documentation and work out which one you need to add in there. So your merchant ID, which is provided by your merchant account provider. The API username is also provided by the merchant account provider and the format is merchant dot your merchant ID, which is your merchant ID. So if you're in test mode, it would be test merchant ID or not merchant or whatever your merchant ID is. Um, and then the API password you have to generate from inside your merchant administration area and we do have that information in our docs as well um, you can add a surcharge and you can also provide the ability for customers to save payment tokens and this option would need to be ticked to provide that option so i'll explain a little bit further when we go over to the front page um, I always have something in the cart, view cart. Okay, so billing details, fill in all the information. I'll just show you. I'll select this and then obviously you select the credit card MPGS. Fill out your the name. Now I'm just going to copy this credit card here, credit card number, expiry month is May 21, CSC is 100 and we will, for this instance, I'm going to save this card and this will save a token which is actually stored in the MasterCard payment gateway. This is not stored on your website anywhere. Um, select that option and place order. OK, 
Okay, order received. Go to order number, the date, payment method, credit card, MPGS. What we'll do now is we'll go back to the shop. Add this to the cart. And at the checkout, we should have a saved card. We call it a token, but it's a card, but it really is just a token, which is not a readable um, number as per se as 008 or your credit card number. Okay, so for this instance, I'm going to use the save token that we have against um, Molly Smith and all the information is filled out. This card, place order, it's just processing. Okay, and then we have an order, date, payment method, and PGS. Okay, I think that pretty much sums it up. Um, if you need to purchase the plugin, head over to extensionworks.com and thank you for listening.